Chef Sienna has become the go-to component library for AI coding tools, and for good reason. It gives AI a box of pre-built pieces, buttons, cards, modals, that can just snap together like Lego blocks. Responsiveness, accessibility, all handled for you. The AI just has to assemble it. But there's been one problem with Shad CN. Every application built with Shad CN looks like every other application built with Shad CN. But that just changed with Shad CN's new release that lets you visually customize everything. Fonts, colors, spacings, the whole vibe, before you even hand it off to AI. You design once, get one command, and now Claude Code or V0, whatever AI tool you're gonna to use to build with, will build it exactly how it looks in the preview. Let me show you how it works. On the Shad CN website, there's now a create project option. And this is where the new stuff is. Over on the right, you've got all your customization settings and you can adjust them and preview updates in real time to dial in exactly how you want it to look before you write any code. So let's go through a few of the key options. First is the component library. ShadCN now supports base UI, so if you want more modern patterns, that's an option there now. Next, you've got the five pre-built style templates. Vega is a classic ShadCN look, but Nova is actually my personal favorite. I like that it's tighter and a bit more compact. And then for colors, you can just pick whatever palette looks the best to you. I'm gonna go with zinc for my base color, and then my theme, I'm gonna go with cayenne. And the icon library is a really nice addition. I'm a huge fan of huge icons, so I'm gonna take that one. And for fonts, I find that most AI models will always default to enter. It's fine, but everything ends up looking the same. Now you can overwrite that right from the start. So I'm gonna take fig tree. So now that's looking good in this preview, you can actually go through all these components here on the left and see what it looks like for all those individual components. Like let's see what it looks like for a spinner, for example. And then we can see how the colors all come together for our different spinners. They've also added these new component collections called blocks. These are pre-built sections that are collections of components and you can just drop them right in. Like this one from 11 labs, Perfect if you're trying to add a voice feature to your application. And once you're happy with everything, all you have to do is just say create project. And here's the key, it doesn't actually scaffold anything for you directly. It just gives you this command, this create command with the preset flag. And then the, all those UI settings we just set, those become the parameters of this create command. And we see those here, like for example, it gives us the base, the style, everything we just selected. So if we just say copy this command, and that's the command we'll take and use inside Claude code. It also gives you a really easy way to import into V0. I'll show you that one later. I took that command from the ShadCN website and I'm just pasting it into Claude code, but I added a few more things. The first thing I did was ask it to do a web search to understand the ShadCN create command and how did the presets parameters work. I think it's important because right now that ShadCN update is new, so it's gonna be past the knowledge cutoff for Opus 4.5. I wanted to start off by doing that just to make sure it understands what this new features are and how to use it. Then I pasted in the command I got from the ShadCN website. I also said it included a light, dark and light mode toggle. This is automatically built into ShadCN, so it's really easy to do it at the start. And then I said use only ShadCN components from the initialized project, keep the layout responsive, and make it look polished and production ready. And then the first thing I did was follow my command and did the web search for a ShadCN create command preset parameter 2025. And now it says the good, I have a solid understanding. The Shad CN commit command is a newer feature. This is a good start. Let's see what it comes back with. That only took maybe two or three minutes and now it's done. It says to create the dashboard using the Nova style, with cayenne theme colors, fig tree font, and huge icons. I just configured it in the preset. This looks great. I think that idea to make it search for the Shad CN latest updates is a good idea to always put it at the start before you build it. Cause it seems like it's really understood the new update very well here. See what it looks like. This is a really nice UI for a first shot and it looks exactly like the way I preset it when I was on the ShadCN website. Now let's use those ShadCN reusable components. Like I can see the sidebar here, used a line chart and a bar chart. And this UI just feels really good. And light mode works, dark mode works. So we're, we're off to a great start with this UI. And then like I was saying, everything's like kind of like Lego blocks at this point. You need to build something new, put a new spinner somewhere. You just use everything from that ShadCN component list. And the AI can just put it anywhere and configure just how you want it. It's a really good way to build functional applications. And it's got stuff like responsiveness all built in. So if I, you know, collapse this, it just automatically just looks nice on smaller screens. All that stuff just taken care of for you. But I'll show you an even faster way to get things going. So if you have all the presets how you want them, and let's say I want to recreate the, this first cell block here and some of these components, what I can do is just say open in V0. And that's just going to go launch V0 and automatically bring in the project I was just working on and then just initialize it right in here. Like just that quickly, now I have it here. If I look at the code, I have all those UI components that I'm using built in here. And now I'm going to simply go back to building my own thing. What I really like about V0 lately, that I've been using it a lot more, is because now it has V0 Max. 
And this is actually powered by Claude Opus 4.5. So you're really gonna see a lot of the same performance you see in Claude Code, for example, but you can now build it right inside V0, which is kind of nice. I've always found V0 does really nice UIs, like you see that in their community section. And it makes a lot of sense because this V0 is run by Vercel, which also produces Next.js, which also produces ShadCN. So they have a lot of knowledge there in terms of front-end development. And really quickly, V0 has created an another nice dashboard for analytics. It's a little bit more information dense than the one the cloud code did, but another really good example of a UI you can really start to dial in from here. And a really nice thing about V0 is you can actually just say publish when you're ready, and it'll publish to the web using Vercel. It just makes using everything in the Vercel ecosystem just really easy. Just really nice to be able to set up all those parameters up front, exactly how your UI would look at the end, and then just take that command and ship it off to AI to whatever tool you want to use to build it. it. Makes building very functional UIs so easy. Take all those components like Lego blocks and just build whatever you want. Now, even with these updates, it's still not going to build the fanciest website. So if you're just on like a landing page or something really marketing centric, you still probably want to build your own enhancements to it. But I had a lot of good luck pairing Shad CN with AI to build a really nice functional application. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day. Talk to you in the next one.